Don't do this at home. Today guys, we are smoking the Drew Estate Factory Smoke Connecticut. As you might have seen, I've already reviewed the Maduro and the, uh, the Sun Grown of the Factory Smokes. I'm very excited about this new line of bundles from Drew Estate moving into this particular, uh, particular market. Bold move for them, and so far a very successful one. If you've seen my review of the Maduro, you'll know that I really like that cigar. So. Uh, Somebody commented on there that I should review the Connecticut next, so here you go, man. Obviously, we've got a Connecticut wrapper here. Not sure on the origin of it, but uh, the binder and fillers are uh, both Indonesian, so likely that wrapper is as well. This here is the Robusto, a 5x54 showing. Price point somewhere in the $1.50 to $2 range. And for this inexpensive of a cigar, the appearance is really quite good. Particularly on this stick, the wrapper is laid nice and smoothly over the binder. The seams are visible, but they are tight. And it does have a pretty well laid double cap at the top. And a very simple label that just tells you exactly what it is and nothing else. sweet hay off of the wrapper. One thing I will say as far as the appearance of the cigar goes, this one does look pretty darn good. Uh, smoking some of the others, I have had some that the wrapper was not so great. Basically you're looking at a pretty inexpensive stick that was thrown together as such. And so when you look at one or two of them in the bundle you'll see that there are some imperfections in the wrappers and I even had one that there was a gap in the wrapper and they had just taken a, another piece of tobacco and just put it over there so that there wasn't an air leak, with a little bit of cigar glue and you can see that. That's not the norm, but you're going to see that and it's it's uh, it's just because it's a cigar that's meant to smoke and not necessarily look good. You're buying a cheap smoke that hopefully smokes really well. Let's find out. Get this thing cut. Raisins and spice on the pre-light draw. Just a touch of bitterness on the tongue and uh, kind of a tight draw. Okay. Let's get lit. Okay guys, the draw's still a little on the tight side, but almost just the way I like it. The body is light to medium. The flavor starts off with a little bit of bitter hay and ends in a decently spicy pepper here towards the end. Maybe a touch of cedar in between, hard to tell because that pepper is very overwhelming, at least the initial light. It'll probably mellow out in a few moments, but uh, at least for now it's definitely noticeable. So that's how we're going to start it. Let's see how we go from here. Guys, I couldn't be more pleased with the first 15 minutes of the cigar. It's going absolutely great. As I suspected, that initial spice from the light up, almost gone right after I turned the camera off. After I turned the camera off, I set this thing down on a log outside and let it rest for a couple minutes. Came back to it, that the spiciness of it was completely gone. There was still a little bit of pepper on the finish, and it's still there right now, in fact. On the draw, there's a nice bit of cedar and a very distinct graham cracker flavor. And I've heard that that flavor described in a few different cigars over the years, but uh, I think this might be the first time that I've really, truly experienced it myself. And it's very noticeable. And it's really good. <clears throat> so like I said, starts with a little cedar. Very, di sorry, sorry, whatever. Starts off with that graham cracker, some cedar. Finishes out with a nice pepper. Not spicy at all, just like a noticeable, just a touch of maybe black pepper mixed with kind of a little bit of a, like a, more of a cooking, cooking spice type pepper flavor. And that kind of ends the finish right there with that. But yeah, that, that draw flavor and maybe the beginning of the finish with that graham, really quite good. 
and uh, the draw body pretty much all the same flavor wise great stick uh, decent burn so far could be happier and you'll chop some more wood alright guys a good 30 minutes in nearing yeah probably about the halfway point first dash fell off with a good thunk right around the inch and a half mark oh all right the next flavor I've noticed in this thing is it gonna sound kind of comical because I just was talking about a graham cracker flavor but I think there's a little bit of a toasted marshmallow flavor sometimes I'll describe it as kind of like a, a caramely flavor a burnt sugar but it's kind of a toasted marshmallow flavor kind of a touch on the sweet side and uh, Obviously, that goes really well with the graham cracker flavor, although it's kind of fading out, honestly, here in the second third. That graham cracker flavor is kind of flavor, <laughs> is kind of fading out and being replaced with that kind of toasted marshmallow flavor. Something I've felt in a, or something I've tasted in a few different cigars, uh, that Chillin' Moose cigar that I smoked a while back, that one had a, a huge, huge amount of that flavor in that cigar. I really liked it. And it's just showing up here in the second third. So, everything else is pretty much the same. And uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, check in one more time before I put this thing down. There you go guys. Very happy with that stick. <clears throat> Alright, so the first third, right after the light, we saw some really heavy spice, lots of pepper in there. Uh, that faded quickly though. There was some cedar on the draw and uh, finished out with a little bit of a kind of a black pepper but more of almost like a like a cooking spice there at the end of the finish along with a really nice graham cracker flavor something that I haven't really experienced in a cigar before really enjoyable though that held on uh, yeah, pretty far into the second third and then the second third took over with uh, kind of a, a toasted caramel or like a, a toasted marshmallow type flavor really sweet in that second third really good kind of kind of dessert like sweetness and then uh, that final third <clears throat> We saw um, it was more toasted marshmallow towards the, the, the second third. Final third was more of a caramely sweetness, although um, notice, noticeably uh, more black pepper on the end of the finish in that final third. Overall, a really, really great stick. Um, I'm not even saying that as it being a budget stick. I'm just saying that in general, that was a really great cigar that I really enjoyed smoking. Um, of course, these things are a new bundled stick from Drew Estate, and uh, they're kind of what I've geared my whole, my whole channel towards is to these, you know, good, smokable, handmade cigars that you can find for a reasonable price. And these are just kind of the embodiment of that. And uh, all of the factory smokes that I've smoked so far are really enjoyable. This one is no different. Um, <clears throat> a couple things I will say, having smoked a few of these, I have smoked a few of uh, the Connecticut's up to this point. And um, I'm not sure if they're a little inconsistent on the flavor or they just improve a lot with age. I've only had these in my humidor for a couple of weeks, so it's, it's not like they've aged that much, but a lot of you guys will know that every bit of time in the humidor really helps blend the tobaccos together and it really helps to, to age that tobacco as it, after it's been rolled. And uh, so I would say to you guys, if you wanna try these things out, Buy a pack of them, maybe smoke one or two right after you get them, but let them sit in your humidor. I think they really improve with age. And I noticed that even with the Maduros, which honestly are kind of my new favorite cheap stick. I love those Maduros. I'm gonna have to order more soon because I've smoked almost all of them now. So uh, the Connecticut, phenomenal cigar. Um, if they are a little bit consist inconsistent with flavor, um, that is definitely something to you know take into account, you know? But they are, for the price, pretty hard to beat. Um, so far I think I have to say the Maduro is probably my favorite but this one the flavor that I got out of this particular stick tonight that's a good contender you know for, for a good Connecticut morning cigar with coffee it's it's really excellent and I'm really, really looking forward to uh, letting these sit in my humidor even longer and uh, trying them out more so I'm gonna be smoking a ton of them and they're a great stick for you know Smoking while you work. I've been helping my father-in-law build his shop, and I have just had one of these in between my teeth almost the whole time. Whether it's the Maduro, the 
the, the Sun Grown or these now, and uh, I've just been smoking a ton of them, and I, I just have really great experience with them. They're they're really con consistent as far as the construction is concerned. They burn well, even the ones that have you know imperfect wrappers and stuff like that. They don't go out on you. You can let them sit for a while, you know, while you're while you're working, pick them back up. They're still lit. They all burn evenly, which I was incredibly impressed with. These things have all had really a great burn. I haven't really had any issues with that. And that's really impressive for such a cheap stick. It's really awesome. So, um, very impressed with these Drew Estate Factory smokes. Um, I think I'm just about done talking about that now. Um, of course, I'm going to recommend that you check out Cigar Page. They're the best place to buy cigars on the internet. They don't carry these as of yet, but I'm really hoping that they do, because when they do, they're going to have them for cheaper than anywhere else on the internet because that's what they do. They sell cigars for cheaper than anywhere else and they all ship free. doesn't matter what you buy, it ships free and that's why I love Cigar Page and that's why I endorse them. So uh, check out the link in my description below. That's where you're going to find the link to Cigar Page. Every time you guys click that link to, uh, to buy cigars, that really helps me out. So I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, the Drew Estate Factory Smokes, Connecticut. Happy smoking, guys.